crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, so I'm here to change Haley today. And um, she's still in the outfit I put her in for our group photo. It's a Gymboree set that came from her Auntie Angela. And it's a white long sleeve onesie with these coral colored foxes on it. And the pants are coral colored. And they have little um, frills on the butt of the pant. She looks really cute in that. And um, also this outfit sort of tied in with theme of the week. Because I believe it is second hand. I'm not 100% sure though. I don't know actually. Sometimes it's hard to tell because sometimes you can get like things that are practically brand new at the thrift store. But I'm going to change her into this sleeper from Babies R Us. It's white with little pink and light brown bunnies on it and it's got like a tutu, a little pink tutu on it. I think she'll look really cute in that. And um, I want to do another discussion topic. In this video I want to talk about is this a hobby or an addiction? <laughs> now let me clarify. So a lot of us joke how we're addicted to buying dolls or we're addicted to buying baby clothes or baby accessories, things like that. But honestly, I think, I definitely think you can have an addiction with this hobby, but I think we need to really examine what addiction would mean. Like real serious addiction. Because people can get addicted to all kinds of things. It doesn't just have to be drugs. It doesn't have to just be alcohol. If you have an addictive gene in your body or an addictive personality, you can become addicted to just about anything. And, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, I could be... You know, there's a lot worse things I could be spending up my money on um, than dolls and baby clothes. Like, I, you know, some people, you know, would spend it on drugs and alcohol. Okay, well, this hobby can get to a point of an addiction where you may not be putting a poison in your body like drugs and alcohol, but it can have a negative effect on certain people. So, here's the thing. I remember a, quite a few years ago, Dr. Phil had a segment on reborn dolls. And he was kind of talking about the same thing, like whether it was healthy or whether it was obsessive or like addictive. And I liked what he said. And he basically said, as long as it isn't interfering with other parts of your life, then it's totally fine to have this hobby. It, there's nothing wrong with it. So, okay. I often joke to myself, oh, I'm addicted to baby clothes shopping. I'm addicted to buying dolls. Like, especially right now, my big thing is American Girl right now. I'm buying, you know, American Girl dolls and American Girl items. And I'll joke, oh, I, you know, I'm addicted, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, is that really and truly, it's not a real addiction because it's not interfering with my life. 
it's not um it's not to the point where I can't stop myself. I will, I am able to realize when it's time to slow down, when it's time to stop for a while, things like that. Like right now. Um, I love shopping for baby clothes, don't get me wrong. And it's hard not to shop for baby clothes sometimes because I love it so much. But I really just come to the realization that I still have so many baby clothes here that I haven't even used yet. And so I'm kind of at a cross between if I do decide to buy a couple of new items, then some things have to go. But I'm also kind of at a point where I'm really trying my best not to buy new stuff and not to go crazy and do huge hauls like I used to. Um, and that I would rather try to use what I have. Um, try to use what I have already. And also try to purge some of the things that I have. Um, so some nights, honestly, what I'll do while I'm watching TV, sometimes I'll just try on random outfits on a baby that I'm considering getting rid of and I'm not 100% sure because I've never seen it on a baby yet. So I'll go through, try on some clothes, snap pictures of the baby in the outfit, and then, um, go back through all those pictures and you know like some outfits as soon as I try them on I'll go oh no no I don't like it um and immediately it goes in the pile of stuff I'm gonna get rid of others I'm not too sure so then what I'll do is I'll go back and look at the pictures and see what I think of the outfit then and if I don't love 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 it it goes so I'm really slowly trying to do that. Um, so some outfits you may not see on camera because I'm just kind of like, I if I waited to make a video of every single one of those outfits, it would take me forever to clear out stuff. So um, at least I can recognize when it's time to clear out stuff and when it's time to like stop. Not to mention, I don't buy anything that I don't have the money for okay I never go into debt I pay off my credit card bill every single month and so unless I know like if I know that I won't be able to pay for that item when my credit card bill comes around I don't buy it because my bills come first and foremost and savings. Um, we pay our bills first. We put money into savings every month. We are 100% debt free. And at both Alex and I have our own fun money, we call it, or spending money that we can, each of us has our own, that we can spend it on whatever we want. We don't have to ask each other if it's okay because it's our money to do with what we please. And that's what I use for my hobby. But there's sometimes where I'll need to use that spending money for other things, whether it be new clothes for myself, or if I need to go get a haircut, or if I decide instead of dolls, I wanna get a concert ticket, or go see a play or a movie, or I'm gonna go out to dinner with a friend, you know, I use that money for that stuff too. So I always take that stuff into account. It's like, okay, well, I want to go out and have dinner and see a movie with my mom. And that's going to cost this amount. So I got to make sure that I don't spend that on dolls. Because I want to make sure I don't pay for what... I don't pay for anything that I don't have money for already. Okay, so... 
I never get into any problems there. But there's some people that it does become an addiction and it does become a problem where they aren't doing anything else but their doll hobby. Like if you, if that is all that you do and it's interfering with relationships, it's interfering with friendships, it's interfering with you doing other things that you enjoy and getting together with people, you know, if it's isolating you, that's not a good thing. It's not healthy. Um, if you are putting yourself in debt over the hobby, then it's become unhealthy. That's more of an addiction. Like if you just keep charging your card, charging your card and paying like the bare minimum every month and you're putting yourself further and further into debt because of your hobby, that's a problem. That's not healthy. Um, if you don't have money to pay your bills because you've spent it all on dolls, that's a problem. That's not healthy. And I actually knew someone um, at one point, they were a member in the group that I ran. And, you know, we were very friendly with them at the beginning when they first joined the group. They took part in, you know, everything in our group. But then things started coming up with this person where one day they were crying the blues that, oh, we don't have enough money for food. We had to go to the food bank this week to get food to eat. But then the very next week they brought a new doll home. And then, oh, crying the blues again. Oh, we don't have money to pay this bill. We don't have money for food. We had to go to the food bank again this week. And then the next day they were, oh, hee hee hee, I have a doll coming home. And, you know, my husband has no clue. I, like, snuck it in behind his back. That's not healthy. That's a problem. That is an addiction. And so we tried to, like, we were concerned about this person because we had come to know her in the group. We thought she was a friend. And we tried to kind of do, like, an intervention. And we were like, you know... I think you need to, you know, try and prioritize and like this is becoming unhealthy. Um, they just were buying doll after doll after doll and putting themselves in debt and not having money to eat and they amassed hundreds of dolls and they did not listen. They would not listen to our concerns. Um, as friends and they just continued and their marriage ended over this um, it it really t has taken over their life to this day and you know it it was you know we tried to be supportive and a, and a good friend to her but it just ended up getting to the point where it was, oh, that's, that sound is my timer telling me I got to get clothes out of the dryer. But it just basically got to the point where it started to get annoying because we're constantly hearing this person complain about being hungry and not having food and not having money for food, but yet you know, a couple days after, they're bringing home another new doll again. And another, like, it was like week after week, new doll, new doll. And it's like, it gets to the point where you can't be supportive anymore because you're like, you're doing this to yourself. You're putting yourself in this situation where you have to go to the food bank because you've blown all of your money on dolls. And, you know, even to this day... This person, like, anytime they get any kind of an extra paycheck or whatever, 
their immediate thought is, oh, I'm going to get a new doll. That's not healthy. That is an addiction. And it can do that. It can get to that point where it does take over your life. So you need to be very careful with this hobby. Um, it, you know, especially if there's any kind of addiction that runs in your family, you need to be careful. Um, and you need to be able to identify when it is on the, the cusp of becoming a problem and then you can correct it. But if you don't have that in you, like if you can't see that it's an issue and you can't take the steps necessary to correct it, then you really do have an addiction and have a problem. It can happen. It totally can happen. You know, I have a certain amount of space to work with for my hobby and I know that I will not go beyond that space. And I always, like I said, will make sure that I have the money to pay for whatever I have. I don't get any debt or anything like that. I will not buy something if I don't have the money for it. And if I buy anything new and I don't have space for it, then I have to get rid of something else to make that space for it because I will not go beyond what I allot for myself. So I have those limits on myself. Um, and I'm even kind of limiting myself even more these days, which is why like I'm working on decluttering not only my collection, but our whole apartment in general. As I've mentioned before in other videos, I have the, I get attached to items. <laughs> Not just my dolls, but just items. I get attached to things. Um, and I recognize that. And so I'm working on saying, okay, I can let this item go. I can let this go. It's going to be fine. And you know what? Like, if it is something that kind of has a meaning to me, but it's like, it really has no use here in this apartment. I'm not doing anything with it. It's just kind of collecting dust, but I like it. And I'll, you know, I will take a picture of it as, you know, like a memory. And then I'll just let it go, you know? So I'm getting better at, at that um, because I don't want to become like a hoarder <laughs> because I honestly actually can't stand clutter. It makes me feel more stressed. So I need to be able to like have my place clean and like clutter free to feel relaxed. So I'm really working on decluttering this year slowly but surely. Um, it's hard to do when you have a chronic illness. So you have to do it in little bits at a time. But, yeah, I'm just constantly um, checking myself, basically. I'm, I'm constantly checking in with myself and, you know, constantly trying to purge stuff that's taking up space that we don't need, that I don't use, like, um, and, you know, I will always put other things first before my dolls. Like I said, we always have our bills, bills and our savings, but like, I'll know, you know, okay, I really want to go to this concert. So I need to spend this on this ticket. So I'm not going to buy anything for a couple, you know, a couple months for my dolls because I really want to go to this concert. Um, same thing. It's like, okay, I know I'm going to need like this fall. I know I'm going to need new winter boots. Um, cause mine have cracked for some reason. I'm really upset about it actually. Cause I got Sorel boots probably two or three winters ago, but two of those winters last winter and the winter before were so mild and we got barely any snow. So I actually barely wore my Sorel boots until this winter. Like this winter is the first winter since I got them that I really wore them. And they've cracked already and I, I'm livid because they were really expensive boots and I like them because they're super warm which is great for my Raynaud's but I kind of expected for that money that they would last a lot longer because like I said I barely wore them the last two winters. Um, so I kind of look at it like they only lasted one winter. So I'm really upset about that. Um, I'm thinking of contacting the company just to see if there's anything policy wise. I don't know. They only come with like a one year warranty, which is past that. But like the fact that I barely wore them 
But anyways, that's besides the point. I know I will need new winter boots for next winter. So uh, as soon as boots come out in the stores, which is usually, I think, around August, um, I will be having to go and buy those. So I know, okay, I'm going to spend probably like a hundred and something on these boots. So no dolly stuff that month. I'm also probably going to need to buy a couple of new winter shirts for myself. So no dolly spending that month. Plus like I will have just gotten back from my trip in July where I'll be doing spending there. And that's the other thing. Like I have the trip coming up. So I'm really trying to like cut back on my spending overall. Not just on dolls, but in general. So yeah, like if you have the ability to say no and you have the ability to stop yourself, you have the ability to say, okay, I need to stop for a while, I need to purge, I need to do this and that, then I don't think you have a problem. That's healthy. That's a healthy way to have your hobby. But if you are running yourself into debt and, you know, you're to the point where your whole house is like packed to the brim with dolls and stuff and you are struggling to pay your bills and struggling to feed yourself yet you're continuously buying dolls then I would say that's an issue that is an addiction and if you can't physically stop yourself then I personally would seek help because honestly, like, it can be, like, you can have addiction to anything. It's not just drugs and alcohol. There's gambling addictions. People have shopping addictions. Um, addictions in this hobby, like I said. Um, there's so many different things. So you have to try to make sure that you're enjoying this hobby in a healthy way that's not you know interfering with your life interfering with your bills and your food and your family and friends and you're just you know you're putting yourself in debt that's not a healthy hobby then and you know you need to try to look at that and say, okay, I need to make some changes to make sure that I'm enjoying this hobby without putting stress on other parts of my life. So that's my little chat about, is this hobby an addiction or is it just a hobby? But wow, this sleeper like just fits her. Um, Koala Baby I find really runs small. I actually bought this sleeper with Savannah in mind and it probably would fit her a lot better. It might be a little loose on her, but this is just fitting Haley. It's kind of pulling, but she looks cute in it anyway. Really, really cute. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed having this chat with me and yeah. Um, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of my new videos. Hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.